welcome to learn ec official in this video we are going to see the basics of refrigeration and air conditioning before we going to explain this topic let me tell you this video is going to help mechanical and thermal engineering students and the passage students uh, who are going to attend the interview and competitive exams like gate ies psc exams so kindly listen to this topic first we are going to discuss about the first refrigeration system which is bcrs which means vapor compression refrigeration system okay vapor compression refrigeration system is a simple cycle and the basics uh, uh the questions the basic parts of vapor compression refrigeration system first we will see the basic parts the vcrs contains four basic parts which means first one will be the compressor second one will be the condenser third one will be throttling fourth one is evaporator evaporator is the one which going to give us the efficiency this is efficiency symbol okay first let's, uh, let me see the uh, basic cycle which explains a vapor compression refrigeration system the cycle goes on like this this is a graph of temperature versus entropy this is the enthalpy diagram okay we are going to number it this is 1 and 2 3 4 this 1 2 2 is nothing but a compressor compression will be done every time under the constant entropy and 2 2 3 is condenser and 3 to 4 throttling and 4 to 1 is evaporator in evaporator heat will be absorbed q will be absorbed in condenser q will be rejected okay this two this point is a higher temperature and this at the end of the compression you will be getting the high temperature t higher the low temperature will be obtained from the evaporator so one and four it will be constant temperature before this this four to one will be having the pressure is equal to constant likewise two to three also pressure is equal to constant okay to calculate the efficiency the formula is efficiency equal to t lower by t higher minus t lower otherwise we can say as desired effect by work input d is desired effect or work input this is a refrigeration cycle so in refrigeration our desired effect is nothing but uh, getting the lowest temperature so it will be making that room or a uh, system into the temperature will be reduced and it will make it very cool so the desired effect is always be getting lower temperature and the work input will be the higher temperature minus lower temperature if you multiply this with the m value m is a mass flow rate then we will be getting the power this whole term will, will be power calculation for the use of problems we can explain this as we can rewrite this formula as h1 minus h4 divided by h2 minus h1 h1 h4 h2 h1 all the values we can take this from this temperature versus entropy diagram the two value will be taken from the end of the compression and the one value will be taken from the start of the compression this one value 
will be always getting in the saturation line and if you see the saturation line on this side this line this line or a curve is known as a dry saturated and this line is known as wet saturated line and this point this point is not a critical point that's all this efficiency formula is a very important formula in every online test or uh, any gate exams uh, everything the uh, the basic questions from the vapor compression refrigeration cycle you will be getting this from the temperature entropy cycle or otherwise you will be getting this formula that's all about in today's section